We're in Algebra 1. We are on Friday, February 1st. So please put the date Friday, February 1st. So it's 2 slash 1. All right. No, not teacher error. I did the date today. I know I'm on top of it. All right. So systems of equations with substitution. All right. So we have learned three different tools. What was our first tool? We had to actually do something to solve where they cross. Solve by, does anyone remember? What was that first thing? Lesson 9-1, we solved by Monse. Uh, not quite. Uh, not quite. Elimination was one of them. Ah, okay, who said graphing? I did. All right, so Andres got the graphing. Graphing was our first way to solve these. We had to graph each of them. Wherever they intersect, that is the solution. The second way, Gunnar told us, was yesterday, or well, two days ago, rather, and that was elimination. Today, we are learning the third and final way to solve these. Substitution. <laughs> it is substitution, I but I, I'm not going to... Oh, I'll give it to you. Substitution. All right. So, Gunnar and Andres have their card in. But I said elimination. No, you did. You said you did. I said elimination. Julian, I believe you. What? Yeah, yeah, wow. So, so you did. changed that card? All right, yeah, turn in your card if you've participated today and let other people participate before yourself. All right, so here is the procedure for substitution. These first three steps are different. The last two steps are always the same for substitution and elimination. With elimination, we eliminated and then we solved for y. With substitution, um, we're going to also do some different steps, but both of these end by plugging in whatever you find. Like if you get x is equal to 7, then you plug that back into an equation and then solve it again. All right, so coming back here. Isolate for one variable. Sometimes you'll get lucky. Sometimes one variable will already be isolated for you. And then you're going to plug in, solve, plug in, and solve. So here we go. Example one. I'm going to do these steps. I'm going to isolate for one variable. Hey, this one is nice. It already did it for us. X is isolated. Woohoo! Yeah! We don't have to do anything. We, step one is done for us. We do not need to isolate for X. Now I'm going to plug in this X. This X and this X are the same letter. We can all nod our heads. That's X. That's X. Yep, yep, yep. That means that this, this side is also X. 2i minus 6, that is X. So this 2i minus 6 is going to be substituted in this spot. This, this is 2y minus 6. That is the same thing as x. 2y minus x is x. That's how I read it in terms of the notation. That means this x is also 2y minus 6. Here I go. I'm going to rewrite equation 1, but in the place of x, I'm going to put a 2y minus 6. That's called substitution. Here we go. 5. And then here's the substitution. 5 times the quantity of, now, 2y minus 6. 2y minus 6. All right, I have finished the substitution, and I'm going to finish rewriting all of equation 1. That I just wrote x, now I'm going to write this minus 2y. Minus 2y equals to 10. Equals to 10. All right, pause. <coughs> really think about what we just did. This is the hardest step in substitution. Everything else flows from this. You know how to do your order of operations. We've practiced this over and over. Make sure you really understand what it means to substitute. We're digesting. We're di digesting. All right, now I need some quiet raised hands. What am I going to do? Help me through the math. Jose, go for it. Distribute. Yes, distribute the 5 into both of these terms. Jose, can you help me do that? What is 5 times 2y? Uh, 10y. 10y. And 5 times negative 6? Negative 30. And I still have all of this stuff. I'm going to rewrite it. Minus 2y is equal to 10. Thank you, Jose. You can turn in your card. All right. That left side looks like it could be condensed a little bit. It could be simplified. Can anyone simplify that left side for us? There are two like terms. Someone that still has their card. Cohen. Yes, these are like terms. <clears throat> How do I combine those two? And they turn into? 8y, thank you. 8y minus 30 is equal to 10. 
I combine the 2y and I combine the 10y. I combine those like terms. They're like terms because they both have a y in them. They're like terms if they both don't have a letter. They're like terms if they both have an x. So here we go. Thank you, Cohen. You can turn your card. All right. Now it's that simple linear equation. Let's get some volunteers in here. Monse, do you still have your card? Yes. All right. Go for it, Monse. Add 30. Add 30 to both sides. So plus 30 plus 30. Monse, read the new line after I add 30 to both sides. 8y is indeed equal to 40. Monse, you can turn in your card. And by the way, I should say that Edder is gone for a while. Uh, Jessica and Josie are gone. There we go. All right. And finally, my last step is to do what? Jennifer. Divide by 8y. Divide by 8y. Careful about how you say that. Yeah. Divide by 8, just that coefficient. Divide by 8 on both sides. And then, Jennifer, can you read what happens after I divide both sides by 8? Y is equal to 5. And, Jennifer, are we done? Nope, but we do want to box this. We're halfway there. All right, thank you, Jennifer. You can turn in your card. We are not done because we need to do what? Another quiet, quiet his hand. Go for it, Sergio. Uh, substitute. Yeah, substitute that y equals 5 into where? Which one do you want to do? You got to choose either one. First one, okay. So read me the new line. After I'm going to plug in y equals 5 into my first equation. 5x. 5x. 2 times 5. This is the substitution that Sergio is doing right here. 2 times 5 equals 10. Equals 10. Yeah, that 5 went right there. All right, Sergio, you can turn your card. Who still has their card out there? I think almost every... Oh, oh, oh. All right. All right, Fernando, do the next two steps for us. Minus 10 is equal to 10. That's one step. Do the next step. Add 10. Add 10 because that's the opposite, or the inverse. So that's going to be what then, Fernando? 5x is equal to 20. And you might as well just finish this off for us. By dividing both sides by 5, x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4. Yeah, thank you, Fernando. You can turn your card. All right, any other people have cards? You do not have your card. You participate twice already. All right, that means we can participate multiple times. Our final example. We're going to do one more example, and we're done with the notes. We're going through it nice and quick today. All right, everyone can participate multiple times. Everyone's card is in. If your card you still have, please do turn that in because it should have been turned in. All right, I'm not even going to ask the questions. You're going to ask and answer the questions. So what's going on here? What should I do? One person knows. Two people know. Three people know. Four people know. Wait for one more hand. Four people know. Five people know. Jose. That gets plugged in there. Okay, read me what goes on. 3x. Oop, got something like there. 3x. Plus 4. X is 2x plus 14. Plus 14. And the parentheses equals 12. Thank you, Jose. Is there a question, Sergio? Yeah. Could have been like 4x, 4y. 4x and 4y? What do you okay. mean? Could it be instead of 3x plus 4y? 3x plus 3? 3x plus 3? You want to show me what you mean by writing up here? 4 times 1. Oh, but you still have to have the 3x, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I think you, you're you seeing that it, it needs to be subbed into here, but you're just forgetting to write that 3x on the outside of it. Okay. No, that's, that's good that you see what's going on. 
Are you gonna answer the next step? I'm gonna wait for at least five hands. What's the next step? One, two, three. Three hands, four hands. One more hand, what am I gonna do? You can participate as many times as you want. I need one more hand, one more hand, one more hand, one more hand, one more hand. All right, uh, gonna go for it. Okay, distribute. Distribute, do that for me, please. Okay, uh, eight X and eight. Eight X plus, plus, ooh, so 28 would be times two, double again. So, so double and double, 28 times two is? There it is. And then don't forget the rest of the equation, Gunner, what goes over here? Uh, 3x plus, plus that guy and equals 12. Thank you, Gunner. What do I... Oh, I'm not even going to ask the question. <laughs> Cohen. Nine, three, three x oh, you did this step last time, didn't you? Okay, but again, 3x and 8x are like terms, so that combines to... 11x equals 12. Yeah, thank you, Cohen. Oh, that was, I'll just give you another 30. Which one of these is 30? Uh, 30. Now you have 50. All right. All right. Next. Sergio. Minus 56. On both sides, minus 56. And what do I have? Are you getting 44? <laughs> You're going too fast. <laughs> oh, 11. Uh, yeah, 11 x, and then that side is. Negative 44. Negative 44. Good. My computer's. There we go. Now I can see what's going on. All right, and my final step is to Fernando. Divide by 11 on both sides. So, Fernando, you get? All right. X equals negative 4. And let me back up and give Sergio his XP. Oh, what happened there? Sergio his XP. Fernando, your XP. All right. Am I done? Ooh, no, I'm not done. Andres, what do I need to do? You need to substitute negative 4 into um, any equation. Yeah, any equation. Which one do you want to choose? The first one? Okay. So read out, read it out to me. 3x plus... Oh, no, 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 no. 3 times negative 4 plus 4y equals 12. Equals 12. Yeah, very nice. Thank you, Andres. All right, I substituted my 4. I guess if we want to do arrows to see where this guy went. 4 went right there into our x. All right, next. Next. Next step. Go for it, Gunner. Negative 12, thank you. Gunner's getting some XP. Good job. Next. Fernando. Um, plus, 12 on both sides. plus 12 on both sides. And what does that give us? Good. Thank you, Fernando. Next. Monte. And you get? Y equal 6. Am I done? Yes. Yes. Now I have an X and a Y. I am done. That is substitution in a nutshell. Um, I took a look at Khan Academy. It looks like they always do step one for you where they isolate one variable. So I'm not going to show you the harder version of substitution. I wonder if it's going to be coming up in our unit, but I, I don't know. I haven't looked that far ahead. So that is it for today's homework. There's only one homework assignment. Are there any questions? You guys did a good job. I'm going to give everyone 100 XP. Go ahead and write your summaries now. That concludes the notes.